Would you like to get more clients or stand out for a job simply by using LinkedIn? Then you need to leverage the LinkedIn recommendations feature, not just the endorsements. Hi, I'm Laura Rubenstein, digital marketer and business growth strategist. And I find that the number one neglected part of a LinkedIn profile that can get you more clients and help you stand out for your next position is your LinkedIn recommendations. Also, stay until the end of this video because I'm going to share with you the second most neglected part of your LinkedIn profile that you need to leverage to get more leads and land your next job. So now on to LinkedIn recommendations. Why do they build your credibility? First of all, LinkedIn recommendations must come from someone you're connected to on LinkedIn and they need to say how they know you. To leverage the LinkedIn recommendations, you must get great recommendations. And I want you to have a lot of them. And I'm not talking about the fluffy recommendation that says what a nice person it is, you are to work with and a team player. That won't do. So you're probably wondering what makes for a great recommendation. Well, your recommendations need to point to results that you achieved for that organization, a team, a client, a business, um, and it needs to read like a personal story. So I'm going to give you my formula to ensure that you get great recommendations. And first and foremost, you need to write the recommendation for your client. Yep, it might sound a little odd, but that's the fastest way to get great recommendations. And people really appreciate you doing the legwork for them and then letting them edit it. So here's my formula. First, state where you where they were or the problem that they had before they hired you or what prompted them to hire you second what was the positive experience they had while working with you third point to the results that your work produced for them and then finally as a bonus i would add a statement that says i would highly recommend you to anyone who wants this blank result so let me give you an example of a recommendation that really rocks. Before working with Sandra Ateca, my office was truly chaotic and I was overwhelmed and struggling with how to keep track of all the papers and projects I regularly manage. With her calm, objective perspective and expert knowledge, Sandra put together some simple yet highly customized organizing solutions for me that I would have never thought of. The most important benefit that I've received working together with Sandra over time has been the lifelong lasting organizing skills that I now use every day. Her words of wisdom influence my decisions daily. And as a result, my office projects and corresponding paperwork are easy to manage. Thanks to Sandra, I never lose phone numbers or papers and I know exactly where to find my most important project information. If you want to be more productive and you want to cut out, cut out the clutter completely from your office, hire Sandra immediately. Her services are well worth the success you'll achieve with her customized systems. So in summary, when drafting your awesome LinkedIn recommendation for a client to submit for you, be sure to include the key elements. Mention the problem and make sure it's a problem that everyone looking for your pro product or service can relate to. Mention your positive character traits you can, your friendly or high integrity, caring, listens well, great teacher, makes it simple, etc. Then you want to share specific and ideally measurable results that you produce, that the change you're going to give them is by hiring you or buying your product or service is going to give them. And that will take your recommendation from good to awesome. So you might want to check out my LinkedIn profile for some more great examples and my featured article on how to get rock and recommendations on my LinkedIn profile. And now as promised for the second most neglected area of your LinkedIn profile, it's the about section. Most people write it like an objective and all about what their credibility is. However, don't use it like that. Instead, use it like a sales page that talks more about what you can do for the reader or that hiring person and that next client who's going to bring you in. More on that in a later video. In the meantime, we'll see you on LinkedIn.